Hello. Um, so we will be starting our Armored Core. Six playthrough. Uh, Fires of Rubicon. For context, um, the only thing I know about the Armored Core series is um, from Armored Core 4. So I do understand that it is a mission based game and you do have a highly customizable mech at your disposal. Um, and word about that Armored Core 6 is uh, essentially that injected with a bit of souls formula um what that means i had no idea um i have no idea what i'm getting myself into um i don't want to expect anything coming from elden ring i feel like it's stupid to expect something coming from elden ring and from software um I'm going to enjoy Armored Core for what it is, because I do believe this is a a new beginning for Armored Core and that this is a first for many in a series and they do and they will release more Armored Cores. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to go into this uh, with no expectations and to enjoy it for what it is. Um, I have done some of the settings. Um, I don't know if my system can handle this. So I will, I may have to customize it as I go in, but yeah, I will be playing it mouse and keyboard. Um, some people have been saying mouse and keyboard is good and actually better than controller, but we'll see. So yeah, let's get into this brightness. Seems fine. Music. Tiny bit high because I do like music in games. Oh, also one thing to note is that I'm surprised that this doesn't have epic music in the main menu. Uh, usually in in a Souls game there's like a epic music main menu, but this one doesn't. It's sort of somber. Almost like it's a new beginning. Uh Online, yeah, I do. I, I do know that there is one v one mechs that you can fight other people, but I don't know if I'll be doing that. We'll have to see. Pilot name. I'll call myself Proto. Us, I presume. Time to get to work, 621. I'm powering down your entry capsule on my signal. Okay, cool. And Water is the guy that gives us all the information we need. Now, activate the AC. Super cool. I guess we're hostile. Position is grid one three five. Off target, but within permission. 
permissible range. There's a catapult ahead. Use it to close the gap. Oh boy. Alright, let's see how this feels. Uh... Main system. Activating combat mode. Oh, yep. Yeah. I need to change the our settings. A really, really high DPI. Uh, might be camera settings. It is. Let's see how one feels. Oh, no, not even one. And the volume was a bit loud. Let's put it to five for now. There it is. Okay, so... I'm guessing this is just for controller. This is for mouse. One is better, but... <laughs> Let's put it to zero. I do have really high DPI. If you're wondering what my DPI it is. 6400. Basis jump. What is control? Uh, control is dash. WASD, tab movement boost on. Okay. Movement boost is the toggle. The space. Bar below is fuel energy. Ah, and boost does require more energy. Some actions consume EN energy and are disabled when the EN is depleted. Energy replenishes rapidly when grounded. Alright. So I guess most combat is going to be grounded base, perhaps? Targeting controls, the reticle automatically targets on screen enemies when there are multiple enemies, the closest enemy, enemy is uh, the closest to the center of the screen will be prioritized. Okay. R1. I mean R2. I do have to say though, the controls do feel smooth. I'm getting used to how the mech feels. The mech does have a weight to it when you move about, which is which does feel nice. It's not a one-to-one -one control. Uh, target assist helps keep your AC oriented towards the target. Alright, middle mass button. Cool. Mouse one is melee. E shoulder can. Okay. I think it shows it on the bottom right. Yeah, bottom right. I'm guessing there'll be a button for Q, but it doesn't seem to have something toggled for Q. Oh, I don't have a weapon for Q right now. Okay, cool. Uh, the missile launcher equipped to the right shoulder of this AC is capable of multi-lock, which allows you to attack multiple enemies simultaneous by holding down the input for that weapon. Okay, so I just hold E and look around. Or does it just fire automatically? Oh, 
Oh, is it over here? How does boost work in here, exactly? You can't boost directly at the direction that you're looking at. It's directly horizontal. Oh, I know. I'm also realizing that you have ammo. Use repair kit C. Three to. Oh, okay. That's just lost. Your AC is taking damage. Patch it up. Two repair kits remaining. See the contaminated city down there. That's where you're landing. Whoa. Access the catapult. Now I'm guessing I'm going to die if I jump down, right? Let's test it. Yeah. I don't know why I'm going over here, but I wonder if this game has something like treasure boxes or something. <laughs> I don't know how much this is in terms of the souls formula. Nope. It's like barriers to the area, okay. Oh, the mouse sensitivity is a bit high for me. Maybe? Ah, uh, it looks like a booster. So we're gonna get launched. Time to fly, 621. Oh, am I going to have to control this? No, it doesn't seem like it. If we get our hands on Rubicon's core. Hell yeah, we are essentially like a scavenge the AC Rex ahead and find a valid mercenary license. Somewhat like a comatose person. You'll need ID to operate. And essentially, we are just the brain, right? From the trailers that we saw. Quick boost, shift. Yeah, I have tried that. All right, there's a few mechs in front of us. No. I guess strafing right and left seems to be good. Do we get loot from these guys? No. It doesn't seem like it's a... a loot game. Hold, right click, rapid fire. Yeah, okay. Control. Okay. S during boost to cancel. Oh, is this whole area like the mission area then? Follow the markers. Oh, it's actually quite a big area. I did try a 
assault boost into melee there. Let's try on this guy. Assault boost into melee. Does feel really, really nice. I have to say, the movement and the way that the controls are really simple. Like I really don't have to think about it. It's just boost into them, left click, right click, shift. If you dodge left and right, straight left and right. It's a very, very simple control. Which is nice. I was kind of expecting it to be like a really high um, learning curve in terms of the movement and how the, the game feels, but it's actually really, really simple. Yeah, they do have shields. Oh! Okay, you can't spam melee because it does have a charge bar what do I do here is this a friend I do have to say though, the scale of this game is incredible. Uh, license code extracted from AC Reckon the contaminated city contains the pilot's registration data. Okay, so I guess this is just picking up something like dog tags? This one's already expired. Keep looking. Yeah, the scale is crazy. I mean, is this just a skybox? Right? Hmm. I'm trying to figure out where the skybox is. Which part is a skybox or which part is an actual model? That's definitely a model, but this background right here seems to be like a skybox. It's like really detailed. Oh, I'm kind of excited to customize my mech and to put whatever I want on it. Is that, is that one of ours? The PCA's planet side force. Keep a low profile. We don't want them breathing down our necks. Okay, so they're bad. That is our objective. Analyzing. I wonder what kind of mix we'll face. Um AC. To no idea what this, any of this means. License is, license expires in twelve hours. Corp license easily traced. Forget it. Mm. So from, if I remember, we're looking for coral. That's a mech. Going for melee. There's a guy up there. There's also a guy over there. 
Is there any actual point of killing other mechs? It's not like we get something like souls or anything. We can kill them, do we? I don't know why I'm killing these guys. I don't think we get anything from them. I think it's just killing for the sake of killing. I said I have to hold E. Oh, that guy's right on top of me. You're outnumbered, 621. Use your missiles. Oh boy, mobility is going to be a big thing in this game after that. So I'm spending a lot of my time in there. So it does seem like mobility is key. Let's see about this license. Independent. License expires in 15 days. It's still valid, but the pilot's rank is no good. We can't use this. I've picked up one more wreck, 621. Hmm. Transmitting marker. Go and check it out. I'm not sure why we're looking for... ...licenses. Are we stealing a license so we can get into an area? Oops. Vertical catapult while standing on a vertical... Uh... Okay. Boosters. Where is the booster? Right there. Reminds me a lot. Like, oh, the ring. It's nice that this game has a lot of verticality. Maybe we, we will be climbing a lot of stuff. Registration number RB23. Rank fits the bill. Call sign. Oh! Wait, no way do I have to fight this thing, do I? I guess I'm just going to strafe. Oh, I'm getting really, really damaged. Right, I have to remember that I do have heal. Is that a stagger bar, the yellow? Oh, I'm getting destroyed. Oh, melee is really strong, okay. Should definitely go in for melee. There we go, okay. Oh, what are those massive rockets beneath it? I 
think we're supposed to fight this, but it's nearly dead, so... This is a bad position. Oh, okay. Spam right click. Right click, it should die. Okay. That wasn't too bad. Melee is really, really strong. It seems like... Merely will mostly be used for stagger bars. And then you just pop them with your guns. Right, independent, cool side raven, rank F. Is rank F good? Isn't rank F like really bad? <laughs> raven. That's your new name here on Rubicon. Oh. Ah, so we are stealing someone's license. Interesting. Hmm. Got achievement. Illegal entry. Paid 1,000. Uh, I mean... That's a lot of money. Actually, I don't know how much money that is. Expenses repairs? Oh my god, okay, so... The less ammo you use, the less... Essentially, you want to be flawless in each of these missions. Coral, a sublime substance. Discovered on Rubicon, a planet on the frontier of developed space. For a time, Coral was a revolutionary energy resource and data conduit, poised to transform human society by leaps and bounds. They called it the Fires of Ibis, a storm of flame that tore through the stars, leaving lethal contamination in its wake. Coral, the kindling, was thought to have been utterly <laughs> consumed, forever lost. However, on Rubicon, the embers continued to burn. Humanity would inevitably return. To Reminds me a lot. Fire. Like Dark Souls. Okay, so it seems to be like there's some sort of... I don't know, coral, they call it. Just highly coveted. RB23. Call sign Raven. Authentication complete. Removing MIA status. Restoring access privileges. This is All Mind, the mercenary support system. Welcome back, Raven. Hmm. So we are Raven now. Undercover, I guess. Looks like you passed the authentication. Mm -hmm. Raven, that's who you are now, here on Rubicon. I've picked up some work for you already. Take a look, 621. And Rubicon is the planet. Okay, and we're looking for Coral. This notification follows restoral of access privileges. All Mind provides a combat training simulator to support its mercenaries. Okay. Your license was in a suspended state. Perhaps you may need a refresher. Uh, As an added incentive, completion of the exercises will oh, be rewarded cool. with AC parts. Okay. You stand to benefit regardless. That's cool. That they will reward you for um, even tutorial stuff. Uh, sorties. AC design, emblem acquired. Is this? No, that's the Raven license. So this was the mech the Raven person was using. Okay. Don't know what that is, or that, or that. I don't know any of these. Okay. Sort of your own missions or hone your skills using mercenary support simulators. Okay. I'm guessing training was the one, right? Tab. Okay. Let's 
let's see. Plan shots on moving enemies, you must pull the trigger while they are in lock on range. Okay, so tracking is active when it is. Well, I don't know. I, I'll just see. When is tracking not active? Ah, the little red signs. Okay. That's on. I mean, it's still on, but the tracking is... That's when it's not on. RB, which is E. Let me move out of the way, further. Yeah, okay. That's when it's on. Okay. There's actually a lot on the UI. Which kind of makes it confusing, but there's also very easily understandable once you get it. Uh, weapons with magazines will automatically reload. Yep. Uh, oh, you can manually reload. You hold R, choose a weapon. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What happens if I just press R? Nothing. Okay. It would be nice if R just reloaded everything. Uh, to use missiles and other homing rounds, keep the enemy on screen until a lock completes, then fire. Some missiles are capable of multi-lock, which allows you to attack multiple enemies simultaneously by holding the input for the weapon. Right, but I'm confused whether you have to... You have to look at every single enemy while you're holding E, or is it just automatically here? Huh. Left hand. Require risky close range approach, but have high attack, power, impact. Uh, useful for destroying shields. Uh huh. Also very good for stagger, it seems. Right, if I hold E, so it hit those two. It does hit those two, okay. So I don't have to directly look at both of them. Just sort of target close by. I do have to say that on a melee is. Very satisfying. Very slow though. You do have to get very, very close. You can detect nearby enemies that hold AC parts by scanning. Any objects that were detected by the scan will be temporarily highlighted. Alright. It can even be used to rules. I mean, I already know they're there. Oh, okay. Why were those targeted and not this one? Also, it's unaware. Ah, it does auto lock on the closest area. Yeah. There is a slight boost when you melee. Is that all?
That looks like a submachine gun. Oh, it's just it's just one mission. Okay. Let's go through AC design. Oh my god, there's how many parts are there in this? Decals. Paint. Image editor. Combine preset pieces to create original images from the image editor menu. Create images can be applied to ACs as decals or used as emblems. If online you can load images you have created to share, uh, to receive a share ID that can be shared with other players or download other players' shared images. Ah. Oh, okay. I'm guessing there's a lot of not safe for work emblems out there. <laughs> Huh. I think for now I'll skip that. What's decals? Apply emblems. Right, that's decals. There are pre made ones. What is that? A shark? Kind of looks like a black mage hat. These are the factions. I'm guessing. Paint, make AC cosmetic adjustments from the paint menu. This includes coloring and texture settings. Textures. Wow, you can even do textures. This is extremely confusing. Holy crap. This is just a hit. Wow. They give you so many options. I don't know why this reminded me of CSGO skins. Factory new and minimal wear. <laughs> Battle scarred. Graphic designer. Okay, that's a new achievement. What's the wearing on all these? Oh, I kind of do like a Battle scarred. Oh boy, this will take ages. I feel like this is something I would do off stream. Holy crap. Entire frame. All units. All units as weapons. Entire frame is entire body. Whoa. Okay, they have presets, which is nice. You're feeling lazy. Kind of like red and black. Are there any more presets? This is quite a nice color as well. That's a very strong red. Would have liked it if it was... You know what, I can do that and just choose a lighter red. There we go. Okay. Whoa, what is this? Okay. <laughs> we didn't have that for the head. Do I want super shiny? Let's go shiny. Oh my god, each color piece has... Okay, that's kind of crazy. Then you have weathering. Oh god. Oh no. Oh. This is gonna take ages. <clears throat> Let's go V and help. Is there a way to color the copy set? I mean, the color. How do I. Can I copy a color? and just paste it everywhere. Ah, oh, damn it, I should have done the entire frame. All right, let's do this. Let's choose the color again. Uh, no, there. Yeah. Was it, it was like here. No, 
How do I rotate this guy? Brightness, saturation. Oh. You, left and right. Preset, user. Oh, you can copy it. Oh, I'll copy. Okay, I copied it. Um, effectiveness, shiny. Okay, it's on the whole body. I do want the weathering to be new. <sighs> oh boy. Alright, let's see what this is exactly. It's the undertones here. Yeah, it does have to be darker. I think it was fine the way it was. Support. I think I want that to be black. Or maybe white. No, black is a little bit more subtle. Hmm. I want it to be matte or colors. What is why is the feet a different color? What color is that? This. Okay. There we go, that's a lot better. It's a stronger color when you put this reflecting this all the way to the first. I want this to be red or... Red, black and what? I mean the blue wasn't bad. Contrast with red. I feel like this is nice though. Sign. Green is a little bit wonky. Orange is nice. But with orange is a bit too much. Red. This is a nicer colour. Okay. Pattern. Pattern? What the hell is pattern? Oh Jesus. Oh that's quite nice. Wait, what? This pattern completely... Whoa! That's wild. That is what? That is wild. What the hell? Large is pretty cool. I feel like I like this one right now. I don't know how much I'll customize in this game, but... It's quite addicting, to be honest. Oh, this one. This actually looks really nice. It looks really nice. Holy crap. The stronger red with this pattern is actually really nice. Hmm. Damn, I actually really like this. Hmm, now to trust whether I like this. Oh, this one's a bit weak. I like the stronger red. So I will stay with this. The weapons, however, are... Hmm, huh. what kind of do I want the weapons? Do I want it to be... Con oh, white is really nice. This one's really nice. I do want the device to be um, more akin to this. Right, R copy. Let's copy the all units device. How do I paste? 
I can't paste. Oh god damn it. It was cyan. Oh, it's a slightly more There we go. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's fine. Assembly, customize. Uh, hmm. When assembling an AC, ensure that your build keeps within the maximum weight and EN load parameters. Okay, so you can't. You have a limited amount of energy. So you can't put like 10 billion parts on because then it'll use too much energy. Or you don't have a, enough energy. Okay, so I'm guessing the lighter it is, the more energy you have as well. Okay. Yeah, I did have nothing on Q, which I can put in because I did get a part. Then, whoa, okay. Are these the parts I already have? What is this? That's a head! It's heavier. Heavier but more defense. Quite considerable actually. Heavier though. Hmm. I feel like it's worth it though. I don't know how that will affect the way the mech feels. I'll try it out. Oh, achievement hardware engineer. But yeah, let's check it out. Slightly heavier head. Let's see if it actually changes the way it feels. I can put this, um... Oh god, only certain parts can equip. I would have figured that I'd be able to put this anywhere, like on the back or anywhere, but it seems like certain weapons fit in certain slots. What's better? Weight. Huh. It's a lot lighter. Machine gun has an excellent rapid fire output, but somewhat lacking in firepower when used alone. Shines in double trigger builds, whether using two of this weapon or in combination with another. Okay. That's a hell of a lot lighter. Is there no way to see how fast it shoots? It's just like, it shoots fast. Which is interesting. I would have figured that there'd be a lot more stats. Hmm. You know, I feel like this is just better, especially for efficiency's sake. Total rounds by 40, so it shoots quick. It's weaker, but less rounds. I feel like this is more efficient. I can shoot less, so it'll be less expensive during missions. This was the blade. You know what? Like it's fine. You use the missiles. Oh god, I got different parts for everything. Right. This is uh heavier. Oh boy. Right, now I have to make a choice whether I want to be heavy or not. <clears throat> ah, they also do look different. EN load. Ah, this increases EN load, so I can equip. Ah, the main frame. The main body parts can... Also increase EN load as well. Hmm. Crawler. Uh, 
originally spectacle surface surveys. <clears throat> Whoa, this boosts what you can have in terms of current EN load by a lot. This is definitely worth it, I feel like. But I have no idea. No idea what I'm looking at. Should I just change everything? I feel like this is not worth it. But again? Yeah, I think the legs were the only thing worth it. Oh god, why is there so much? Oh, the, these are the boosters. I haven't got any parts of these though. This is... The engine, okay. Uh, nothing here, what is here? Expansion. Right, good for now. AC data, save and load AC assemblies and customize sections from uh, AC data. Okay, I can save stuff. You know, I will save this. Beginning. <laughs> there it is. Uh, anything else? No. Is that a shop I can buy stuff? What's photo mode? Ah. Okay. I would have figured photo mode would not be in this. But like a separate area. I don't think I need to AC test, do I? No. Training? No, nothing new. Training. So, steam missions. Check incoming jobs and sorting missions from the missions menu. Complete missions, blah, blah, blah. Alright. Destroy targets. Eliminate enemy squads. Extra rewards based on number of enemies destroyed. Destroy all Rubicon. Liberation front artillery so Kill all. Got a job for you, 621. This is an open call from the Balaam Group, one of the corporate forces occupying Rubicon. Okay. Attention, all independent mercenaries! This request comes from our affiliate, Dothan. The Rubicon Liberation Front has deployed Bios artillery throughout the contaminated city. Mm -hmm. The city itself has no strategic value. But we cannot allow them to hinder <laughs> expansion of the Coral Survey. They're on our Show land. Show us your ambition. Destroy the Liberation Front's artillery. Bonus pay will be awarded for destroying their MTs. We want the enemy weakened. Mm -hmm. Just destroy all. To prove yourself. Impress us, mercenaries. I wonder what type of missions will be going on. Is it just going to be like killing? Or is it going to be a lot more intricate AC data? What's this? Oh, it's just everything. Yeah, okay, you can just assemble before each mission. The client doesn't care who does this job. As long as it gets done. Oh, I'm excited to see how the AC looks. Activating combat mode. Damn, okay. Commence mission. I like it. Yeah, I really like it. I like how in certain colors, I mean in 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 the sun, that there's a little bit of purple and pink, like right there on the front. It's not like straight red. There's hints of blue, which makes it pink. All right, that's just nothing. Yeah, it doesn't feel very different. Yeah. 
Adding a bit of weight didn't change much. I will have to say though, I don't like... Hmm... What do I do? I don't like E. I don't like Q and E being weapon buttons, but I don't know what to do. Because I will be pressing jump a lot, right? And I will be moving left and right a lot, but... I can't put my fingers off A and D. And Lateral, okay. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe as I play off, I'll, I'll find better buttons. I don't know. I mean, I could put some buttons on the mouse, but I don't want too much. These other things were supposed to destroy on. Oh, they are shielded. Okay. At least they can't be melee. I did say I do get a bonus for killing all of the ACs. in a barrel. I'm getting destroyed, but oh, there's a lot. Right in the beginning. And right on the edge. Sniper shots. Uh, okay. Let's go around, shall we? Yeah, let's go around. Just so many looking at me from directly in front. I have to remember it is a lock on distance as well, so I can't just keep spamming. This is the thing that's 
destroying me. Massive sniper. the other sniper which was absolutely destroying me oh it just ends okay Pair cost as expected. I got hit a shit ton. Bonus pay, I got a lot of bonus pay from it.